as you can see here um we can see the external parts of the male genitalia um namely the penis and the scrotum your penis is made of three layers of spongy tissue when you get turned on blood fills these tissues which makes your pee pee hard like diamonds well not like diamonds but you get the expression the average size of an adult erect penis is from five to seven inches long the size of your penis when it's flaccid doesn't have much to do with size when it's hard the glands are also called the tip of your penis you can find the opening of your urethra here this is where your um pre-ejaculate and pre-ejaculate fluids and your semen come out of and it's also where you pee out of and uh, it says here for many uh, males this is the most sensitive part of the penis the shaft the shaft of your penis extend from the tip to where it connects to your lower belly area it looks like a tube and this is where part of your urethra is next is the foreskin which you can see right here when i face there uh, the foreskin is a patch of skin that covers and protects the head or the glands when your penis gets hard the foreskin pulls back and the tip you is exposed three months not every penis is the same some people have it circumcised some cool it some can be circumcised and some can be uncircumcised um the reason for circumcision is for hygiene purposes i don't know any other purposes than that though um but yeah but it does say here wait where is it uh, all about all of the penises in the u.s are circumcised and half are uncircumcised it says here both types are common but in here it's common to you know um it's common to have your pee, -pee circumcised either way is fine it's just that when you're uncircumcised you just have to take care of it even more and then the frenulum says here is where your foreskin meets the underside of your penis other external parts which we have mentioned um, earlier um the scrotum or the ball sack it's a sack of skin that hangs below your penis your scrotum the basically holds your so and it keeps them at the right temperature if it's too cold your scrotum pulls your testicles closer to your body for warmth if it's too warm your testicles will hang away a little bit from your body your scrotum is covered with wrinkly skin and hair it can be big small have little or a lot of hair the scrotum is a this very the scrotum is a very sensitive part of your body so any hitting or twisting will be extremely painful uh, i mean the male sex anatomy rather not just the penis my bad first we have the testicles which some may refer to as their balls they are the two ball like glands inside your scrotum they make sperm and hormones like testosterone the epididymis is basically a tube where your sperm matures it connects each testicle to the vas deferens and it holds your sperm Barbara before you ejaculate the seminal vesicles are the two small organs that produce semen uh prostate gland it makes fluid that helps your sperm move